In the wake of yesterday's shooting, we talked to some local bounty hunters about what their jobs entail, including some of the dangers they encounter. News Channel 15's Erin Rogers joins us now with what she found out. Erin? Mark and Heather, I was told bounty hunters are a thing of the past. Now they're called recovery agents. And all bail bondsmen in Indiana have to be licensed in it. The two I talked to say it's a 24-7 job, and they work in 50 counties across Indiana. When many of us think of bounty hunting, these images come to mind. What you see on television is not real. When I spoke to two recovery agents, they told me it's not like the old days when people had bounties put on them and anyone could go get them and collect a reward. We don't actually have a monetary value placed on a recovery. Most of the time, it's not even violent. You don't have to kick a door in or chase them down or wrestle them to the ground. You can go too far, but I, I, my philosophy is you treat people the way you, want to, you would want to be treated yourself. In fact, they turn themselves in 99.9% .9 of the time. And their missed court date is usually resolved by a phone call. None of my agents have ever had to use a weapon or get into a physical confrontation with someone to put them in custody. Bail bondsmen have a year from the time the suspect didn't appear in court to the time they have to get him back in jail. If not, the bail bondsman has to pay the price of the bond. They tell me they work hand in hand with law enforcement and do thorough background checks on people. Anytime we're going to go in somewhere to get some, we always notify them. Because in the end, it's all about safety. The two recovery agents say their company typically writes around $12 million a year in bonds. But in this, his 15 years, he has yet to pay for a missed court appearance. In fact, he says most of the time when people miss a court date, it's not because they're running from the law, it's just because they wrote down the wrong date. Heather, back to you. Thank you, Aaron.